Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay. And yesterday we did um, some exercise and now we are going to uh, give the answers for the exercise that we um, were uh, writing yesterday. So we are going to continue with that part and after that, we have another exercise and then we are going to um, make a little review of a simple past. And then we are going to uh, develop the new topic. So those are the sentence that we are going to um, give the correct um, uses of the verb. So. In the first one, we have Sophie and I, and we have the, uh, the verb no. What is the answer for that sentence or what is the correct um, use of the structure with that verb? In the number one, Uh, hello, hello, teacher. Yeah, hello. The, tell me. Uh, usted quiere que leamos ya la, 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 yes. o solo la estructura? Ah, vale. No, todo completo. Sophie, Sophie and I have known each other since, since we were at school together. Okay, thank you. Have known. Here we have the structure. So we are going to mark the uh, answers right now. So in the first one, Sophie and I have known each other since we were at school. Right, number two, who wants to say the uh, correct uh, structure for this sentence? I'm playing tennis. In this case, we are not using uh, the verb be. We are using the structure for um, present uh, perfect. That is the subject plus have or has plus the verb. Okay. I have played Playing tennis. Okay, I have played tennis since I was eight years old. Okay, that's good. For the number three. Alain has been in hospital three times this year. Good, Alain has been in hospital three times this year. Number four. I have wanted to be an actor for as long as I can remember. Good. I have wanted to be an actor for as long as I can remember. For the number five. <clears throat> My uncle, my uncle. Has, okay. So, my uncle has been. Mm -mm. Being no, because we have the verb smoke. Smoke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He smoked 14 cigarettes a day for 40 years and he is a Okay, uh, let's uh, make an 
a pause in these uh, sentences. Okay. What is the uh, structure for these sentences? Uh, we were uh, talking about the past, the, the present perfect, and the structure is the uh, present of have or has. Entonces, estamos viendo, ¿verdad? Esta estructura donde tenemos el have y el has, que es importante, ¿verdad? Que lo recordemos porque es la estructura que estuvimos viendo. Luego tenemos la, el verbo, ¿verdad? Que ahí, si ustedes se fijan, está en pasado, participio. And that is the structure that we are going to eh, write in the sentences. No le vamos a poner I am or she is because we are not using the verb to be in this case. And then we are using the verb in branches. Estamos utilizando el verbo que ya está ahí. Lo único que nosotros vamos a hacer con las eh, oraciones es agregar el has o el have y cambiar ese mismo verbo que tenemos en, eh, en los paréntesis al pasado participio. Y eso es todo. So, let's continue with the sentences. Number six. You have had that sweet for more than 10 years. Okay, you have had. In this case, uh, you have the, the verb and you have the auxiliary in this case, right? So in this case, it's not uh, incorrect to say have had or has had mm -hmm. because we have the auxiliary that is the uh, first part of the structure that we are using with the present uh, perfect and the verb that is in past. So in this case, we have this uh, sentence. You have had that suit for more than 10 years. Is in time to get a new one? So that's correct. Number seven. <clears throat> has worked. Okay. That's good. Since he finished a university, my brother has worked in five different countries. Number eight. Has watched. Okay. Serene has watched that TV program every week since it started. Number nine. I have never liked bananas. I ah. think they are horrible. Okay. I have never liked like bananas. I think they are horrible. Okay. And the last one. <clears throat> have visited. Have visited? But what is the ever? Oh, sorry. <laughs> have, then? Ever. Okay. Have ever visited. Okay. Um, have ever visited. It is in the middle, right? The never and the ever is in the middle of the structure. Then uh, we have some exercise. The other exercise, we are going to do it one by one. Because you are going to say if it is been or it is gone. Vamos a utilizar el have been and el have gone. And I am going to write the sentence, but I am going to write it one by one. And you have two options, been or gone. Tenemos dos opciones, been gone, voy a escribir la oración, vamos a ir uno por uno, son eh, seis oraciones nada más. And you are going to say if it is been or it is gone. But in this case, just like move a little bit for <clears throat> this uh, one, let's see. Just to remember, right? And we have here, have been and have gone. Just to remember before we uh, say the answers for these uh, sentences. So it says that we use have or has been when someone 
has gone to a place and returned. And when someone has not returned, we use have or have gone. That's a reminder. Then we are going to see the exercise number two. We have the first sentence here and it says, your hair looks nice. And we have a question, have you? And we have this space here. <clears throat> okay, your hair looks nice. Have you, yeah. to the air dressers, been have or gone? gone? Gone. Gone? How gone? Have Are you, you sure? Gone? Que si hay Have you been? Una estilista. Mm -hmm. Have you been? It's gone. But when? When the fue? Oh. In these cases? Uh -huh. Bien. 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 In these cases, uh -huh. bien. Number two. Bien. We have the space and we have to the shop to get some bread. Okay, kids to the shop to get some breath. He will be back in five minutes. Been Keep. or gone? Been. Gone. Been. 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 Or gone. Kids been gone to the shop gone. to get some breath. Gone, gone to the shop to get some breath. He will be back in five minutes. Va a regresar en cinco minutos. Gone. <clears throat> Number three. <clears throat> I to the shop, but there was no bread. Been or gone? Gone. Bean. Bean. He was in the shop, but there is not a bread, and now he is home. Number four. Reginald. To Istanbul. On business, five or six times this year. Reginalds to Istanbul on business five or six times a year. Gone. Been or gone? Gone. gone. He goes there and then he comes back. Been or gone? He goes there. Uh, gone. Been. 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 Number five. In her office, she's probably home. Mrs. Evans isn't in her office. She's probably 
been or gone? Gone. 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 Good, gone. <clears throat> and the last one, number six. Where's my passport? And we have this space. Question mark. I can. Anywhere. Okay. What is my passport? Being or gone? Being. 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 This person can find the passport. He or she doesn't know where the passport is. Being or gone? Being. Gone. 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 Good. Okay. So this is the end for um, this uh, part of the topic. So now we are going to do a little review of the simple past. That is just a reminder of the topic because we um, already uh, learned something for that topic before. So now we are going just to do a little review. Then we are going to um, talk about adverbs and sequence <sighs> adverbs that are uh, really important. So now we are going to review. And we have the topic, simple past. And we have simple as that with most verbs the past tense E-D. So it says, with most, most verbs, the past tense is formed by adding ed at the end of the word. In this case, we are talking about the regular verbs that doesn't change their form. And it is just add the ed at the end of the verb. But we already know that we have the irregular verbs that change their form and it is not the same in some cases when we are using the past. Okay, and then um, we have some examples. We have this one that is called, the verb called, and we have the past that is called. Then we have like, and in this case, we use a DD at the end to form the past. Then we have one and we have one that. Then we have work and we add the ED, work. So that's the uh, easy part of this because we already know the verbs in past that are regular. And we already have the um, verb list, so that's really easy. And then we have, but there are a lot of irregular Irregular past tense forms in English here are the most common so we have some examples here and we have the base form but we are going to do it like this. Okay, we have the base form that is the, uh, the main form of the verb. And we have here the past tense. 
we have number one, B, and the past tense is was and were. So let's see. This one, begin. What is the past tense of begin? Let's see if you remember. Yes. Begun. 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 That's good. Begun. Next one. We have break. What is the past tense? Broke. 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 Okay. Next one. We have bring. Brought. Okay. Then we have buy. Bought. Hey. Then we have build, pitch, build, build, Okay. We have another one. Choose. Chose. 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 Choose. Just Choose. with an O, right? Mm -hmm. Then we have come. Come. Okay. Okay. Then we have these are really easy. Coast. Coast. Uh -huh. Coast. Coast. Same. Then we have could. That is really difficult. Right? Could. Could. Okay. Could. The same. Could. Then we have do. Pass. Did. Did. Bro. Drew. Drew. Drew with an E. Okay. We have drive. Drew. Drew. Okay. Eat. Eight. 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 Feel. Good. Fine. Fall. Fall. Get. Go. Go. Okay. <laughs> Give. Okay. 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 Go. When. 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 Have. Here. 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 Okay. Hold. Hold. We are going to change one word in this uh, verb. We are going to change the O for an E. Ah. Yeah, like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then we have the other one. Keep. 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 Kept. Kept. Good. We are almost done. No. New. 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 Another one. Leave. Left. 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 Sí, no te puedes esperar después. Leave, like this. 
Then, the last one, let. 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 That is the same. Okay. That is some of the irregular verbs that we already studied before. Now, we are going to see the uses of past, um, the simple past. So let me take this. Uses. So, another thing. Okay. Uses of the past tense. In this case, we are using the simple past. In this case, we have, we use the past tense to talk about. First, <coughs> first thing we use the past tense to talk about something that happened once in the time. Something that happened once in the past. And we have some examples. I met my wife in 1963. Another one, we went to Spain for our holidays. And we have another one, they got um, every, very late, sorry, very late last night. Okay, in this case, we are using the past tense eh, to talk about something that happened in once, just one time in the past. With the first one, I met my wife in 1963. It is talking about that this person met his wife in that year. So it's one, um, uh, one thing in the past. Once, una vez. Solo lo han hecho una vez. Or actions that happen once in the past. Number two, we went to Spain for our holidays. It is about the vacations and these uh, people who um, went to Spain for the holidays once in the past. Number three, they got home very late last night. They got home very, very late last night and it was maybe the first time or it is just one time that they are very late in home. Then we have the number two that is Let's see, something that happened several times in the past. Also, several, something that happened several times in the past. Okay, we have the first one that is talking about once in the past, one time in the past. But in this case, we can also use the past tense for things that had happened several times in the past, more than one, more than two. So we have here the example, when I was a boy, I am talking about the past. When I was a boy, I walked a mile to school every day. Then we have another one, we swam a lot where we were on a holiday. And the third one, they always enjoyed this sitting they're the friends. Okay, 
So in the first uh, use of the past tense, we have once in a time. And in this case, we have for several times in the past. In the first one, we can say that is just um, like a memory because it was saying that uh, when I was a boy, in this case, when he was a child uh, in the past, uh, he walked a mile to school every day, something that he did uh, for a long time or maybe every day when he was a child. In the second one, we is one a lot while we were on holiday. Uh, they are talking about that they went to the pool, maybe, or a lake, and they swam a lot while they were on holiday. And the third one, they always enjoyed visiting their friends. So we can use it one for one time in the past or two for several times in the past. <clears throat> Number three, something that was true or some time in the past, or some time in uh, the past. So in this case, we're talking about that something that happened in the past, and in that time, it was true, or it was happening in that time, but maybe now it is not like that. So we have the sentence, I live for 10 years. He enjoyed being <clears throat> student. And she played a lot of tennis when she was younger. Okay, in this case, something that was true in the past, but now maybe it's just a memory. And the first one, I live abroad for 10 years. The uh, person maybe is from Mexico and uh, she or he lives in maybe United States for 10 years, but now she or he is living in uh, Mexico again. So it was true, but now uh, that is something that has changed. And the second one, he enjoyed being a student. Maybe this is a child. And in that time, almost everyone uh, enjoyed being a student. Now, maybe it is in, at the university and it founds that it's really hard to study something. And now, maybe he is not enjoying the uh, life of the student. And the third one, she played a lot of tennis when she was younger. Uh, maybe now she is not able to play tennis, but in the past, she can do it maybe every day or all the time. <clears throat> and the last one, four. We often use expressions with a go, with a past simple or simple past. That is the same. And we have the example I met my wife. a long time ago. In this case, we are not using the year, like in the first sentence for the first use, because it's almost the same sentence. I met my wife in 1963. In this case, I am saying I met my wife a long time ago. So we have four uses of a simple past in this moment. One is something that happened once in the past. Two, something that happened several times in the past. Three, something that was true for some time in the past. 
And the last one, number four, we often use expressions with a go with the past simple. So what are we going to do right now? We are going to uh, write some sentence about us uh, using the four uses of the past. Vamos a escribir algunas oraciones sobre nosotros, cosas que sucedieron en el pasado, y lo vamos a desglosar en los cuatro usos del pasado. Mm, two sentence for number one, two sentence for number two, two sentence for number three, and two sentences for number four. Uh, we are going to have two, four, six, eight sentences about our uh, past. Vamos a escribir dos oraciones por cada uno de los usos. Tenemos cuatro usos. Son ocho oraciones. When you have your sentence, we are going to share it with everyone to uh, uh, put into action, maybe, the uh, uses of the past. Vamos a escribir las oraciones. Cuando las tengamos listas, las vamos a compartir para eh, que podamos ir viendo lo de las estructuras del pasado. In this case, is simple past. We are not going to use the have or has in the past of the verb. We are going to use just the eh, past of the, the verb with the base form, the subject plus the, eh, the verb in past plus the complement. Easy as that. Vamos a utilizar la estructura del pasado simple, no the present perfect or something else. I am, in this case, is I was, I went, I like it, I built, and that is the structure. So you are going to uh, work in your sentences and I am going to give you time, then we are going to share it our sentences. Then we are going to um, develop the, uh, the other topic that is for today, that is the adverbs. So let's begin with the work.
Okay, are you ready? Or you need some minutes more? Need more time to share. Okay, I will give you some Thank minutes. You. And then we are, when you are ready, please tell me okay. because we are going to read the sentence. Okay, teacher. I was born ready. Finish, teacher. Finished, teacher. Okay. I will give you two more times and then two more times. I'm sorry. Two more minutes and, and then we are going to read the sentence. Okay, teacher, I believe I'm ready. Okay. So, it's time to it's read our ready, sentence. Ready, teacher. Tell me. It's ready. Okay. It's Who wants to be the first? Me. Okay, Jimmy. Okay. I started work in the La Constancia in one thousand. 998. <clears throat> Hola. Uh -huh. Number two. Uh -huh. I married in one thousand three. 
Okay. Number three. I went to Chicago for Merry Christmas. Oh, good. Uh, number four. I went to visit my parents. Oh, good. You visited your parents. Yes. Number five. I enjoyed playing soccer. Good. Uh, number six. I live in Sonsonate City for all time or life. Okay. Your whole life. Good. Number seven, I met my Joe a uh, long time ago. Okay. Number eight, I met my friend Manuel a uh, long time ago. That's good. Thank you, Jimmy. <clears throat> okay. You're, you're welcome. Next one. Me teacher. Tell me, Patricia. I started in the university in 1986. Okay. We bought a new house in San Juan Nonualco. Oh, that's good. We played a lot with our pets every week. Nice. I cut my hair each two months. Oh, good. Our pets enjoyed to live with us. The doctor gave me the medicine when I was sick. Okay. I cooked a cake a long time ago. Okay. I forgot my classmates' names very years ago. Oh, good. Okay, nice. Thank you. Next one. Your meat teacher. Eddie. Uh, number one, I went to China in 2018. Okay. I studied business administration in the university. Good. When I was a child, I like, um, I don't know, competitive in swimming. Oh, okay. Or competition. Uh -huh. Swimming in competitions. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, for Christmas, I visited all my family. Mm -hmm. Um, I got good qualifications at school. Okay, you got. I played basketball in the primary. Okay. I went to the zoo a lot time ago. A long time ago, good. And I went to Los Angeles three years ago. Oh, is that's good. Teacher? Yeah. Yes. Okay, DJ. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks to you. Uh, tell me, Amilcar. Okay. Um, I went to Mexico 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. We finished our hamburger very fast. Good. I cooked it several times when my wife was six. Okay. Uh, they they like it, sing always. Uh, they listen to the music. Okay. I played the guitar for a few days. Okay. They enjoy dancing all time. Oh. Mm -hmm. I learned to drive uh, five years ago. Okay, five years ago, good. I I ate a sign a, a month ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you. Next one. Me teacher. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mm. Jacqueline. Okay, teacher. First Jacqueline, then Diana. Eh, le gané a Diana. Mentira. <laughs> <laughs> La otra te gano. <laughs> ok. Eh, I met my boyfriend in 2015. 
my family and I went to the beach last Saturday. Oh. When I was a little girl, I cried a lot. Okay. When I was, todavía. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> when I wasn't working, I enjoyed resting. Oh, mm -hmm. That's true. My really brother true. dreamed of becoming a doctor. She liked to run two hours a day. And I gripped a centimeter a month ago. Oh, that's good. It's a lie. It's a lie. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I met Jellish uh, 20 minutes ago. It's oh. true, teacher. Okay. True. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Now, Diana. Okay, teacher. Uh, my father changed his job. Uh, I bought uh, ice cream last week. It rains all night. And my mother worked very hard last week. And my cousin broke the table. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, thank you, Diana. Next one, we have three minutes. So we have some space for uh, more of you to share their sentence. Who wants to be the next? Me, teacher. So me? Liliana. Okay, Liliana. Uh, when, I, when I was a child, my little sister beat me with my foot. Okay. Um, I visited my family last year. Mm -hmm. I enjoy they, I enjoy to play a uh, violin. Mm -hmm. I miss my husband 15 a long time ago. A long time ago. Um, I enjoy being a students in element 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 elementary. Elementary school. Okay. Okay, um, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Liliana. Who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Me teacher. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dina first, then Azucena. Okay, thank you. Okay. You Number one. My son get get married the last year. Number two. We visit. Uh, our parent every month. Number three, she lived in Canada for two years. Number four, I went to Bahamas six years ago. Only. Okay, thank you, Dina. You're As welcome. Susana. Thank you, teacher. Number one, um, I went to Paris in 2000 and 17. Okay. I started the university in 2013. Okay. I cook a cake a long time ago. Okay. I learned to drive two years ago. Okay. I live in El Salvador for, for life. Okay. I, <laughs> when I was young, I enjoyed to play piano. Okay. My father changed his job many years ago. Uh, I met my husband a long time ago. Okay. When I was a child, I had a surgery. I don't know how to pronounce. Uh -huh. uh, surgery. A surgery. Mm -hmm. I went to Roma in 2017. And it's okay. true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's really good. It, it was for our honeymoon. Oh, amazing. <laughs> yes, thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. So, someone else, because it's time to end the session, someone else that wants to share their uh, sentence, or we are going to end here. Oh, okay. So it's time to end the session. So we are going to uh, excuse me, end. teacher. 
Tell me. I have a question about Tell me. platform. Yes. Eh, he finalizado la plataforma, mm -hmm. pero no, no aparece generado el diploma todavía. Okay, I guess um, it's for the time. Creo que es por el tiempo. Lo más seguro es que les aparezca tal vez a partir de la otra semana, porque ya la otra semana es la última. So I think okay. it is for the time. I don't know if ah. it, I will give you uh, this week or the next one. Pero creo que es más que todo por eso. Tal vez ya la otra semana. Si ya la otra semana no les aparece, lo vamos a reportar si no les aparece. Pero yo creo que también es por eso. Hay que esperar okay, terminar teacher. las cuatro semanas. Uh -huh. Okay, teacher. You're very kind. Okay. Now we are going the, uh, to end the session here and we are going to see uh, each other tomorrow. That is okay. the last day of this week. And you know that I am going to share all the information for this week in uh, the group of WhatsApp. So have a good night and see you tomorrow. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.